What's going on guys? Welcome back, Max here. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we're gonna be checking out the stairwell fight scene from Atomic Blonde. Uh, I got sent a link that said that this was a single take fight, but uh, I did a little bit of reading. It's actually 40 different shots stitched together. They're all shot in chronological order and just kind of stitched together there. Uh, doesn't make it any less impressive. Obviously, Charlize Theron going, undergoing intense uh, personal training and everything to get ready. She actually trained with Keanu Reeves while he was getting ready for John Wick 2 to prepare for this uh, this scene. You guys have been telling me it's awesome for ages. I'm excited to check it out. So let's go. Oh, he's from, um, uh, what's he from? The Gentleman, right? He's uh, the politician that they blackmailed. I think that was what he was, right? If you guys have seen that movie, you know who I'm talking about. And I think this is this is based on a graphic novel as well, right? I do love these long single take fights. Well, single take, you know what I mean? Have to see how this compares to uh, the Protector. Their one take. So yeah, she did almost all of her stunts for this film. There's a couple of falls and stuff done by some uh, Canadian stunt, like a Canadian stunt woman who was kind of a double. Oh, did she get one of them? I think she did. She got him in the leg. Oh! Shot in the thigh. No way he's still standing on that leg. Holy shit, Shelly's throwing can take a punch. Again, anytime anyone comes around like that, excellent. Step in, block the arm, big elbow down the center. Absolutely beautiful. And then, oop, decent shell. Nice throw over the hip. Oh! I want to get over the sound effects these guys make in these movies, right? They really make this, like, the impacts sound heavy. Yeah, Teep, that's what we like to see. Oh. Oh, damn. Oof, apparently she did those falls herself. Yeah, he's dead. He just doesn't know it yet. And he was dead when he got shot in the leg. That was it. Oh! That's still just palm straight to the throat there. Give him a nice esophageal fracture. What the hell is in that that he just threw? Oh. Oof. I, I like how like not technical the fighting is with a knife. When you someone has if someone has a knife like that, your best bet is down and dirty, right? And that's what she's going for. <laughs> I was gonna say this guy's like the Russian, he just doesn't stop. Uh until he does. Done in by some stairs, just like Kevin Nash's Russian. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> the uh the palm strike to the hand seemed a little unnecessary at that point. Here we go, we got some gun foo now. Or oh, she just used it as a club instead. Oh, she's looking for bullets? <laughs> Is he giving another peace sign there? Or two more? Ah, okay, two more. What a good assistant. Oof! Oh! God damn, that's a big elbow from that. Too bad you hit him with the back of the arm and not quite the elbow. Fuck. Absolutely no mercy, man. Shelly's throwing's a badass, man. I get no not something I would expect to see from her. <laughs> Come. 
Cool. Look, like they timed that well. Shooting through the door right as they ran past it. Search for anything. Alcohol. Rags. For Molotovs or for disinfectants and to tourniquet the bleeding? Yep, done. Oh, right through the eye. Just club him with it. Was she gonna stick it around? No. Nope. Oh, I can't imagine how much that had hurt. Getting just clubbed, like pistol whipped. Yeah, that's it, buddy. Get on the action. Hey, at least you got one good shot in, right? Oh. Oh, they lost it. <laughs> I mean, this is so intense, man. You can see the fatigue starting to build up as well. All the injuries starting to play their part. Oh. I mean, it was a really very nice throw. Stepped down, dropped the hips, got underneath, brought her up and over. It was a very nice hip toss. But what does she have? Ah, a hot plate to the knee. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever seen like a hot plate used as a weapon in a fight. Oh god damn dude, just just stop. For a second I thought she was Oh the corkscrew. For a second I thought she was gonna use the onion. I was like, what are they gonna do with that? <laughs> It's not even sharp, man. The amount of force. Again, there it is, stepping inside that big right haymaker. She's got him in the armpit, though. Oh! Ah! Oh! Am I your bitch now? The amount of force you'd need to stab someone with a corkscrew. I thought it was like stuck up in the armpit still. I was not expecting that over the shoulder to the eye. It's great strategy though. Go for whatever's soft, right? <laughs> yeah, because the pistol did those guys a whole load of good. I don't care if this was one take or 40, man. This is a great fight scene. It's like, you can feel it. It's one of those fight scenes you can just, you can feel the emotion, you can feel the fatigue in it. You need to work on your German. <laughs> Are they gonna get away scot free? Surely not. Fuck! <laughs> no way, man. You got a glass bottle to one eye, a corkscrew to the other. I take it back, this guy's the damn Russian. Oh. It's that song in the background. And I ran, ran so far away. There it is. Always need a good soundtrack to a car chase. So he missed when he was right there, but she manages to drive, look over her shoulder, and land, land the right shot at the right time.
Imagine if you couldn't drive stick, getting into a car chase, getting into a car and realizing, shit. Well, end of the line for me. Oh! They get cleaned up? Yeah. The oldest trope in the book for the car chase finish. Damn. Just destroyed that thing. Holy hell. I tell you what, man, I was not expecting to ever see Charlize Theron do something like that. Like, holy crap, that was sick. And such an intense fight. It reminded me of like, uh, like the raid kind of, you know, with a really tough henchman who don't go down after one or two shots who keep on getting back up and just that like visceral kind of in tight action. Love seeing that. Uh, anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for requesting the video. I loved watching it. Uh, make sure to let me know what you think down below. Leave a comment what we need to watch next and then subscribe so when we get around to doing the videos that you want to see, we don't miss out. Until the next one, stay awesome. Have a great day. Bye.